now screen is visible uh this is the group of homen shweta debasis abhishek all the members are present right yes sir to detect hidden objects using image processing tools okay this is the same title of your research paper right yes sir okay now please start okay uh good evening sir uh, today we are going to give a presentation on to detect hidden objects using image processing tools under the guidance of dr divya jyoti bora sir my name is swetha kumari mishra and homen nath devashish borwa and avishek sen uh, is my project mates and here are some contents we are going to highlight problem statement comparative study methodology result discussion and conclusions so the problem statement uh, of our project is uh, images captured in foggy weather suffer from low visibility and may be badly damaged due to atmospheric conditions so when photos uh, uh, contain several fog huge uh, white patches and intense atmospheric light there are a variety of approaches available to detect and highlight objects so the major goal of our project is to use some image processing techniques and to solve this problem and produce a good quality image so here is comparative study we compare two techniques uh, in our project filtering techniques and object uh, detection techniques uh, in filter we uh, primarily use three filters the median filter the gaussian filter and the bilateral filter and the two object detection techniques cnn and yolo so comparison of smoothing filters uh, we use the filtering process to enhance the image and remove the noise of our image from our image so, uh, there are many types of filters such as median filter gaussian filter bilateral guided etc and we use three filters median bilateral and gaussian filter so uh, here is median filter what is median filter so median filter is a non linear filtering technique on images to remove noise from the images it preserves the edges while removing the noise when we consider hello sweta hello other members can you listen can you hear uh, me no, sir okay we can hear your voice uh, but then uh, how many you please continue the rest part uh, uh okay sir hello so in... yeah continue please hello Sweta, we can hear you. Please continue. Yes, sir. So, uh, when we consider only the time parameter, then the median filter gives best results in less time in comparison to a Gaussian filter. To obtain a better edge estimation, we use a median filter instead of the Gaussian filter. Now, Gaussian filter. so gaussian filter is a linear type of filter which is based on gaussian function it is a, a smooth uh, it is used to uh, for a smooth images more effectively gaussian filter is uh, not more effective for removing salt and paper noise so that's why we use a bilateral filter in our project a bi uh, so what a, a bilateral filter is a bilateral filter is a non linear edge preserving and noise reducing smoothing filter for images it is almost like a gaussian filter where it reduces gaussian noise but it does not blur the edges but the operation is slower as compared to other filters so bilateral filter uh, extends the idea of gaussian filter to come up with a modified filter that smooths the images and preserves the edges 
so it replaces the intensity of each pixels with a weighted average of intensity values from a nearby pixels so the main property of bilateral filter is that it does not averaging across edges this is why it is called a edge preserving filter so uh, you all can see that uh, before uh, using any filter this is uh, the image after using median filter uh, and uh, gaussian filter and bilateral filter we have found uh, the best result uh, given by the bilateral filter without you uh, lost much information of the image it gives better results as compared to other filters that's why we use bilateral filter in our project so compare now we will do the comparison of object detection technique which is uh, in between C yolo and cnn so what is cnn convolutional neural network so cnn is one of the image categorization and object detection categorize categories in cnn each input must pass through several layers such as convolutional layers a pooling layer and a classification layer now yolo you only look once yolo is an algorithm that detects and recognize various objects in a picture uh, you uh, yolo is composed of three steps Uh, the three steps of the yolo algorithm are residual block bounding box regression and intersection over union so in this scenario the input image is divided into 3 into 3 grids the bounding box is an outline that draws attention to the image objects it has the width height classes and bounding box center properties the object is perfectly surrounded by an output box created by intersection over union so predicting the outer box is the responsibility of the grid cells so after doing the uh, comparison between cnn and yolo yolo gives us the better result as you all can see that in cnn it detects uh, the eyes as a cow and uh, like this but in yolo it can perfectly detect the person uh, and umbrella and all that's why we choose yolo for our project so here is the methodology the steps which are involved in our project are as follows so uh, first step is image acquisition which is the first uh, steps which is an input uh, taking uh, uh, the image then we do the gray scale conversion then brightness mapping dark channel prior bilateral filter and we will do yolo object detection and then performance parameters so we uh, divide our proposed work into two parts phase 1 and phase 2 for an easy understanding so here first we upload an image then we will perform a brightness mapping and then we will use dark channel prior which is a haze removal algorithm then in phase 2 we will use a bilateral filter for defogging an image as we already uh, said in our project earlier then we will do the yolo for object classification and then we use performance matrix so the result of our project is to evaluate the performance of the proposed methodology the experiments are done on the images taken in foggy degraded image images captured in different situations so the three filters median gaussian bilateral which are implemented above are studied and analyzed and bilateral gives us the best results as compared to other other filters or in comparing to object detection yolo give, yolo is faster and gives better results than cnn so uh, the results as you all can see in original image we use gray scale then we defog the image then we use bilateral image then image object detection so peak uh, psnr value so psnr ratio is the ratio so what is psnr now psnr ratio is the ratio between the 
maximum possible value of a signal and the power of corrupt noise that affects the reliability of its representation when we compare the quality of an image to a compressed image when the psnr is high then the compressed or reconstruction image gets better in quality so as uh, in a table 1 we'll discuss the performance the parameters of two selected method that is bilateral filter and yolo which is which we use in our project so as you can uh, you all can see that 37.18 in bilateral filter and 32.76 in yolo we give uh, we get this psnr value uh discussion so as we all know the object of this paper is to defog the images and detect the items that are present in images as a result we will start uh, with the with the dark channel prior algorithm it is basically a defogging image algorithm the images are smooth and improve after they have been defogged we compare three filters uh, gaussian filter median filter and bilateral filter after comparing we get uh, a bilateral filter gives us the best better results than other res uh, other filters after comparing uh, two object classification convolutional neural network and you look you only look once algorithms we get uh, we found yolo gaps uh, give us the best result better results that's why we implement it uh, in our project so conclusion of our project is that uh, several approaches uh, for defogging the image are discussed in this uh, paper to defog the image we use dark channel prior after that an enhanced bilateral filtering approach based on contextual information was implemented which is further integrated with the yolo we observed after comparing cnn and yolo that yolo is faster and gives better results than cnn thank you that's all from my side okay uh, uh in this presentation i can see that uh, everything is good and two three points that i have said for the other one that if you possible if possible include more snapshot or more flow search okay in that way you can make okay, yes, uh, the presentation more interactive and the first phase of your uh, paper that you can include yes, and the future work you can say something about that otherwise this is a very good presentation and the topic chosen for this project is also very good right to detect hidden objects okay. during image yes. tools is a very good uh, the title for your project or topic for this research in fact the outcome paper will be a scopus index paper and that will be the it means first uh, what i can say impression of your degree so all of all the yes, best sir. to your group and again i am saying this is a very good presentation from sweta and her members so all the mm -hmm. best for your thank you sir presentation thank you all the best to all okay. of you sir thank you sir okay. Okay. thank you sir okay. bye bye good night yes i am concluding it okay bye bye okay sir bye sir